So today is December 30th, 2019, my mother's birthday. And I am on my way to get my biopsy done. And Didi is going with me, just for my documentary. As you can see, she's ecstatic. Um, I'm a little nervous. Dee says it doesn't hurt, but you know, Dee Dee lies. So, I guess I'll start filming after to see how I felt about it. Cause it's kind of gonna be a second opinion piece two in this because this new doctor's doing sonogram. So maybe they'll see something that the other doctor didn't pick up on. Okay, so I'm eating a snack before I go in. Dee Dee's very nervous. She's great. Pop a pill. Her nerves are bad. She's so worried about me. I'm like, it's okay, Mom. I'm, I'm good, you know? I'm going to be strong for you. So I'm just worried about her well-being right now, but I'm okay. Mom, do not mess Mom, Mom do not mess up my videos. First of all, if you're going to do a video, you sure don't need to have all that damn food in your mouth talking. They understand. They don't understand. So, hopefully, the second opinion piece that we're going to get is a little different. But if not, it's okay. I just think it's going to hurt really bad and Dee Dee lied to me. But she kind of made up for it because she does know it's going to hurt and she let me take something to make me feel a little better. I no, think that was her way of saying, uh, yeah, I might have effed up here. It is going to hurt. No, it's not going to hurt. Here now. It's so. not going to hurt, but I did not feel like dealing with your drama and then I have to cuss you out and then people think I'm a bad mother, so. Because, yes, I'm 31, but CPS can still come take me from you. I ain't going to take you out here. You packed them ready. So, once we come back out, we'll talk about how it went. <coughs> and hopefully, she's more motherly and nurturing. But, yeah. So, it's our big day on Dee Dee's day. Okay, so today's December 31st. Um, yesterday, I got a biopsy done. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I had to get biopsied in not one but two places um, because they think it's in three of my lymph nodes. So, and one of the lymph nodes, it was deeper than they thought, so she numbed me in a certain area. But um, when she got to that lymph node, it was a little deeper than she expected. So it was kind of painful. Um, it wasn't unbearable. It was a lot of pressure. I'm not going to lie, that part hurt. I did feel it. Um, but it wasn't unbearable. The worst part was the numbing needle. They give you lidocaine first. That was extremely painful. <laughs> But I'm experiencing a lot of breast pain already. So I think the combination of those two things was just a little bit too much. Um, it wasn't bad. The doctor came in. She actually hugged me. She told me it was okay. And she talked to me. And she said there's so much in the way of like research that they do now. And technology's changed. And it's not a death sentence. And I'll be fine. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> But yes, so this is my biopsy piece to everything. After the biopsy, I'm very sore. I was already sore. Like I said, I'm experiencing a lot of breast pain, but it's very tender now. Um, so I'll show you a little bit. I'm wearing this bra that's too small because it gives me more support. So I have that there. And then there's another one. Let me adjust. And then I'm gonna do this under the boob where the actual nodule is, or tumor is right there on the side of my boob. So the lymph node here, and then the actual tumor, which is down there. Whew. And so uh, with those two pieces done yesterday, which was the 30th, today's the 31st, which is New Year's Eve. So I don't believe anybody's gonna be working. And then tomorrow's the first. I believe anybody's gonna be working. The doctor said I may get everything back by Friday, but I'm just thinking Monday I'm gonna get everything back. Typically, we only take two to three days, but by being this holiday time, my results are gonna be pushed back a little, which is fine because you know I've only been waiting weeks for all of this. So I think a lot of this is gonna be hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. 
But I just wanted to tell you guys about the biopsy. It was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. And um, so I guess next time you'll see me, we'll be talking about my results. So today is 1, 2, 20. And I literally just hung up with advanced radiology. Um, the doctor called to inform me that my biopsy came back positive for cancer and that it is in my lymph nodes so now i'm just praying it's not it hasn't traveled to any other places in my body and um you know going into treatment and surgery soon i guess so kind of want to jump in and get all of this over with it's a very strange feeling um it's like overwhelming i'm scared <laughs> uh excited because this is a journey that i'm gonna go on in life and it's a story that i'm gonna have to tell and um i want my voice to be used so god is using me i'm not sick or anything i'm just laying down because kind of knocked the wind out of me today and I thought I was so prepared for this. I'm like, okay, they're going to call and be like, whatever. But hearing her confirm, like, kind of what I know in my heart, it was just, it's a strange feeling. Um, humbling, you know. But I'm okay. It's time to just jump in full force and deal with this. I got this. So today is 1720 and I am about to get my MRI done. And he well, can you not <laughs> is going with me. She has to get completely naked. They put my little hoodies on. And they're gonna put a contrast in me, I think. Yes. So this is about to be annoying. But less annoying than the stuff I'm gonna have to go through. Right now you can video. Dee is being a team player. She's all scrubbed in and we are ready i guess i'll see how this goes afterwards but you guys know they're checking the valve on my implant to see if i can go in the machine i don't know but do you need help getting her bracelet off so that i can so i have to go and help her okay so i did survive the mri it was not bad the noise was bad but it was not bad i got to go to sleep she held my hand and she squeezed it so i'm glad i didn't let her squeeze the panic she ball because real she would have squeezed the panic ball i know they would have kept stopping they would have kept stopping so it was not bad though so we went we did MRI good, and she did very well good so next step pet scan not happy about that one. It's but we're doing good yes we are Good morning. It is uh, 6.30 a.m. on January the 9th and I am currently getting my PET scan done. Um, they inject you with the glucose. The glucose kind of runs through your body and kind of lights up to anything in your body that's malignant. So it's just kind of see if my cancer has spread from my breast to any other major organs. Um, so I'm kind of nervous about this test because I kind of have that. So what's been worrying me the most is if the cancer has spread anywhere else. So we kind of find that out with this test today. Um, the needle wasn't bad at all. I was kind of scared because I don't do well with needles. But, um, yeah, it is what it is at this point. I've kind of accepted my new journey and I've had appointments all week. Um, with different testing, different doctors. Second opinion, second opinion yesterday said exactly the same thing as the doctor that I loved, so it's okay. Thank you, sir. You're and the blanket. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, thank you. I got my blanket. <laughs> and my mink. <laughs> I have a mink blanket. It makes me my mom got it for me make me feel a little better um but so i have to sit here for 75 minutes and then i go into a machine for one hour and i'm claustrophobic 
So guess who will be taking some Valium? Me. But I just wanted to update you guys and keep this journey going of every step. So I guess I'll come back in after the pet scan's done once I'm back in the car and see how I'm feeling. All right, talk to you guys soon. It's, it's recording. I know how to record. Oh, okay, good job. So I'm getting ready for my echocardiogram. I have to do this before chemo, um, just to make sure my heart functions are good and they're strong enough. Kind of like an ultrasound in your heart. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt because my chest hurts. <laughs> and then not only that. And then I get the cute little outfit. Right. Okay, I get used to these. And then the and this is also make sure because. If you do have any heart issues, they have to do a special thing before they can start chemo. Yeah. Cause chemo it will be, can affect will your heart in a bad you. way. So I'm gonna check this out. And then also today is surgery day, but we'll get back to that part after this. Right, Questions about any of that? Um, so if I have had like this port and it's not effective from chemo, what would be another place that they usually put for it? Like why do we choose to go here first for it? Is this the best place they use? Yeah, it's okay. the best place. Okay. Um, it's, you know, because then what will happen is you'll have a little button. The port right. itself will be under your skin up here on your chest. It's somewhere easy to access. Mm -hmm. um, and these are big veins. It has to be in a big vein for the, to yeah. get the chemo. Oh, gotcha. Therapy. So they're only. Yeah. Right. So Heart those are the main ones. The other big veins you have are like in your groin. Yeah. You don't want to yeah, put a port down there. Okay. Um, it's almost never. No, it's totally okay. Don't. If you weren't nervous, that would be kind of weird, right? Okay. I'm gonna tuck all your hair into this hat. Okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> Does I do need my help? Probably. If you want to tuck it in, just so you have a better feel than me. Yeah. There you go. I'm just gonna try and get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So. Was it okay? Yeah. She said when she lays, she sleeps on it. And nothing hurts okay. when she wakes up. Okay. I'm good. They gave me street drugs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's good. Hi, my Pookie You miss your mommy. Yes. <laughs> I feel better now. Did you miss it your mommy? It hurt, though. Yeah, I know. I bet it hurt, yeah. I didn't think it would when it came out. It was painful. What, babe? Yeah. Support. Oh, well, because you know what They gave me another um, dose of medication. You know what happened? What? Because he went in and then he had to go the other way. Remember the other yeah. way we talked about? Yeah, it's good to be.